This is code.org. That's what we're doing. Instantiate an object of your dessert subclass. Cool. And so instantiate just means create a, well, an object of the subclass. So I know for me, it's cookie. You might have pie or something and you would want to do it like that. No, guys, like always, the naming tradition in this or convention is my cookie. I just want you to realize, though, I could name this chip, right? Or I don't know what's cookie. Honey cookie? Nah, that doesn't sound great. Or cake cookie. I can name this Fred if I want. You just need to stick with your naming once you have done so. I'll say my cookie because that's what we've been following. And then cookie. Oop, I'm messing this up. New cookie. Boom. And so what does this tell the computer? Hey, computer, I have this variable, my cookie. What type of variable is it? It's going to be of the cookie class or the cook. It's going to be a cookie object. How do I create it? Run this new cookie constructor. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's located in cookie. Slap. And we'll run this guy right here. However, it looks like they instantiate with some values. So let's do that because we can use our overridden constructor and pass data to this. So let's do that. Okay. Oh, they did all of theirs. Mm. I guess I'll say snicker doodle and then price. Um, 225. I'm going to say 125. I'm rebel. Flavor price. Okay. Oh, diameter and is chewy. So now I can do, uh, I don't know. The diameter will be 2.5 and chewy will be true. Cool. And now they want us to print it as well. So right here, I'm going to do system dot out dot print and I write LM. So it is uh, dedicated to a new line. And it looks like I'm going to follow their example here. So I'm in quotes going to write cookie. Uh, oh, they capitalized flavor. Sure. Why not? And then in the quote plus now, this is where I call the get methods that we made. And so for this, I can do my cookie dot get flavor. Bam. Okay. Let's just test as we go. I probably broke something already. And the great thing about programming test a lot. And I did turn chewy. Oh, is chewy. Oh, diameter is an integer. So our previous dessert, coconut, is printing out. And now I'm printing the cookie flavor. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead because it's going to be similar. Copy and paste cookie. What was next? Uh, price. Get price. And do they ask for all of these? Print the store values in the instant variable. And I will. I'm just going to get all print all of them. So copy and then whoop, paste. And I want to point something out in just a moment cookie let's see it has icing what that's not even diameter is chewy okay and so i'll say git is chewy i should update the language right here i had git chewy git is chewy should be what this is and then git Let's see if I spelled something wrong. Quapow. Bam, 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 bam. And look, we can access all of this. I want to point something out though. When I do my cookie get flavor, let's go over to the cookie class. So that says, you know, let's run the cookie class. Let's look for my flavor. You'll notice, hopefully, there's no get flavor here. None. And that's because it gets to here and it says, huh, oh wait, this is also dessert. So since this is getting extended, since cookie is built on top of dessert, we can just ask it to run anything in dessert, such as get flavor. So when we do this right here, it's actually going to end up running get flavor from the dessert class, you could think of it. And get price is the same thing. Now, when it does get diameter, it first goes to here because it's cookie and says, oh yeah, get diameter and executes it. However, if it doesn't find it, it's going to jump up here and check here. 
So that's pretty cool. And it's one of the powerful uh, features of extending a class and having subclasses. Oh, actually, before I forget, I want to make sure to commit all this cookie. Um, wait, added accessor methods for instance variables. I'm going to do that for dessert and cookie. I don't remember last time I did it uh, commit for dessert. So just to make sure commit good and good onward. 